Hi guys, this is Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Today we're going to take a walk around the Lamar FD. Internally, we actually call this a GFD, Gooseneck Heavy Duty Deck Over. Shown here, this unit's got dual 12,000 pound axles. We also stock quite a few of these in the tandem dual 10K axles. And then uh, one of the only features we've added to this would be the full width ramp. So I've got one up, one down. You can kind of see what they look like. Full width ramp's a nice option. Gives you a flat level 40 foot deck. Also the ability to load uh, with full width uh, ramps. Let's take a walk around the trailer, show you all the standard features on this one. So again, it is a 40, this would be a, what I call a 35 plus five, 35 a flat, five foot dove with the full width flip overs. Starting out up front, you'll notice it is charcoal. We do that on a lot of our Lamars, just uh, gives it a nice clean appearance. Looks a little bit different than most of the industry. It is an I-beam neck. You also notice it's I-beam uprights. Uh, when you have the deeper I-beam, you also get the, the nicer box. Uh, I notice it is a little bit taller, lockable lid. It's got your uh, grease zerts on with uh, a little bit extra serviceability. Dual jacks, they are spring-loaded. You've got uh, two 12K jacks. Notice it's also got the neck gussets on the verticals to the side rail and vertical to the horizontal. Integrated grab handles. Also has your uh, side step. Moving up front, we've got our safety chains with our integrated uh, chain holder. It's also a spring-loaded latch assembly. Now, as with all goosenecks, this is a two and five sixteenth inch gooseneck ball coupler. It's got your different set height adjustments and then of course your uh, tightening neck bolts. Uh, stickers don't last for forever, but uh, shows here no more than 90 foot pound of torque uh, on the neck bolt. Make sure you tighten those up or you'll wobble and egg shape your your uh, pins seven pin rv blade standard on most all current model pickup trucks anything probably built in the last 15 years is all going to have that seven pin blade now you notice this is also a cold weather rated harness stays flexible to about a negative 65 degree temperature of course your breakaway uh, battery up in the neck and then you've also got a spare tire that is standard equipment on lamar's uh, heavy duty deck overs so it gives you a nice spot out of the way Wiring's all sealed, welded on the inside of the I-beam neck. Everything's clipped back. A couple other things I'll point out. Some of your goosenecks uh, that I'll say are a little bit maybe built inferior will have just a single piece of channel on the, out, uh, on the back of the neck. This also has your gussets coming down on both sides. Makes it a little bit nicer. You notice it's tied together with your channel. Uh, three different spots in the neck. Uh, makes things a little more rigid especially on a trail like this you're going to get a little bit higher percentage of tongue weight maybe than say a 25. so speaking of tongue weight uh normal rule of thumb that i find for estimating uh that's pretty accurate generally we say about 22 percent in a gooseneck and 15 percent in a bumper pull 40 foot trailer you're going to get a little more pin weight so on a on a uh, semi rig you got 80,000 pounds uh on a trailer similar in length uh, weight split on that, you're going to get probably 45, probably 42 to 45 percent in the pin, and then uh, 55 or so in the trailer side. Not a whole lot different here. Uh, your axles are slightly different placement, but normal rule of thumb, your pin weight, depending on how you load, is going to be about one percent from center of the front axle to the neck. You're probably going to be in the 30 ish, 32 foot uh, or better on there. So uh, equation for this trailer, it's going to weigh about nine empty. This has tandem uh, 12K axles, so we're going to call this a 24 GVW. Some in the industry will take tandem 10s and call them 25, 24, etc. I, I base everything back to the axle weights when it comes to payload. Uh, tandem 12s is 24 minus about nine empties, 15. Pin weight, uh, conservatively, you can figure it's 22% of 24,000, probably pushing close to 5,000 pounds. You can payload. Uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, 15 plus 4 to 5. You're going to get about 20,000 pound legally, close to on a trailer like this. This unit's got the 2 uh, eight pressure treated decking. Side rail on this is channel. Sometimes you get angle or I've seen fab. Uh, structural channel side rail. You've got chain spools, stake pockets, and then also a rub rail. Lots of different tie down points. This is a 12 inch I-beam frame. Now I've seen some change in beam weights. This is a 22 foot pound I-beam. That is what many in the industry used to use years ago. Then sometimes we saw a step down to 19 foot pounds 
uh, but this is still a 22 foot pound main beam 16 inch on center structural channel cross members uh, under frame bridge on this size is standard so you'll notice um, under frame bridge done like most just a little bit different with the uh, tubes and then of course you've got your outriggers uh, roughly on about a three foot center uh, also underneath so your under frame bridge if you're not familiar that would be for spreading weight on a concentrated load if you had a heavy load uh, that had full payload of this trailer and it was only on an 8 10 foot section that's going to help support your beam then also underneath you've got a torque tube it looks uh similar to a well casing about a six inch round pipe uh that goes pretty well front back to your axles you got a cross member going across in the middle there that'd be more for your off-road application you're out in the farm field keep the trailer from twisting and torquing hence the name torque tube so again uh Trailer does come standard with both the underframe bridge and the torque tube. So this has the Dexter axles. Uh, I was going to show you the cap there, 12,000 pounder. So from a distance, you're not going to tell uh, a difference between a 10 and 12K axle. Uh, biggest sizable difference, you got a bigger bearing. And then also in 12K axles, you're jumping from a 3 and 3 eighth uh, by 12 and a quarter up to a 5 inch brake. So you're getting roughly 50% more brake on a 12k axle a couple of little details gusset in front of the uh, spring hanger there also mid marker light standard on these you don't often uh, see the mid markers so again we said the wood decks about 35 back to here and in the last five five foot dovetail you've got the uh, self-cleaning dove full width spring assist ramps um, fairly light these are sprung both ways uh, you can pick them up with one hand without too much trouble Uh, extra stop turn tail on these only required to have one extra marker lights as well also notice that bumper is made out of a four by eight tube a lot of times you'll see formed or channel back there uh, a little bit heavier on the rear now one nice thing uh, not all uh, full width ramps are able to stand up lamar does on there some others don't uh, the reason some of the ones that don't you can see in the up position makes it a little bit harder to see those stop turn tails uh, but Lamar does give you the bars that you can uh, stand that ramp up. Uh, mud flaps, also standard equipment. Gives it a nice uh, finished look. Lamar puts their name on for a little bit of extra advertising. It says available in different configurations. You can get a straight deck 40 with 8-foot slide-out ramps. You can also get electric hydraulic uh, brake upgrade you can go with the black color if you like uh if you like the black if you're concerned about color matching this for whatever reason we've actually got color match touch-up paint for lamar if you want uh if you want to go the charcoal so again we stock this side uh, 40 foot we also have some of these in 30s 32 sometimes 28s and 25s it's shown here would be the 40 foot if you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers, feel free to give us a ring, 717-220-4220. Thanks for looking.